a seasoned U.S. senator has temporarily relinquished his role as the leader of the chamber's influential Foreign Relations Committee, while facing allegations of bribery. The Justice Department prosecutors contend that Robert Menendez and his spouse received substantial sums of money in exchange for providing assistance to the government of Egypt. Both Mr. Menendez and his wife have vehemently denied these accusations. Stay informed with Slant News. Subscribe to our channel for the latest, most credible news. Thank you for choosing us as your trusted source. Despite calls from fellow Democrats in his home state of New Jersey to step down from his position, the embattled senator has chosen to remain in his seat. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer announced on Friday that Mr. Menendez had opted to step aside as the chair of the powerful committee, until the matter is resolved. Senator Schumer, a Democrat from New York, praised Mr. Menendez as a dedicated public servant who always fights vigorously for the people of New Jersey. This is not the first instance where Mr. Menendez, a 69-year-old who has served in Congress since 2006, has had to relinquish his esteemed role on the Foreign Relations Panel. He previously stepped down in 2015 after being indicted in New Jersey for allegedly accepting bribes from a Florida eye doctor. The trial ended in a mistrial as jurors failed to reach a unanimous verdict. Maryland Democrat Ben Carden, who assumed the committee's top Democratic position at the time, is expected to temporarily fill the vacancy once more. The charges against Mr. Menendez and his spouse, Nadine Arslanian, involve alleged acceptance of bribes in the form of cash, gold, contributions toward a home mortgage, and a luxury vehicle from three New Jersey businessmen, Royal Hanna, Jose Uribe, and Fred Davies. Prosecutors claim that the couple accepted these funds in secret to aid the Egyptian government and enrich the three men. According to the 39-page indictment unveiled on Friday, Mr. Menendez's influential position as a senator enabled this influence peddling. Both Mr. Menendez and his wife face three criminal charges, conspiracy to commit bribery, conspiracy to commit honest services fraud, and conspiracy to commit extortion under color of official right. In a statement from her legal representatives, Mrs. Menendez asserted her innocence and vowed to defend herself in court. Mr. Menendez has sought to characterize the allegations as politically motivated, stating, for years, forces behind the scenes have repeatedly attempted to silence my voice and dig my political grave. He expressed confidence that the matter would be resolved successfully when all the facts are presented. Nevertheless, a cadre of prominent Democrats, including at least four members of Congress from New Jersey, have called for his resignation. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy stated that the allegations are so severe that they compromise Senator Menendez's ability to represent the state effectively and called for his immediate resignation. Under New Jersey law, if Mr. Menendez were to resign from the Senate, the governor would appoint a temporary replacement to serve the remainder of his term. Any delay between resignation and the appointment could pose challenges for Democrats who hold a one-seat majority in the Senate. The White House, where Mr. Menendez is considered a key foreign policy ally, has refrained from commenting on the matter. In a second defiant statement on Friday, Mr. Menendez asserted, I am not going anywhere. His indictment follows a multi-year investigation by the Justice Department. In the summer of 2022, federal agents executed search warrants at Mr. Menendez's residence, uncovering evidence of bribery agreements, including over $480,000 pounds) in cash, much of it concealed in envelopes and clothing, closets, and a safe, according to prosecutors. Agents also found a Mercedes-Benz luxury vehicle, purportedly paid for by Mr. Uribe, in the garage along with $100,000 worth of gold bars, as depicted in the indictment. As a result of the charges, Mr. Menendez and his wife have been asked to forfeit several assets, including their New Jersey home. A spokesperson for Mr. Hanna stated to US media, we are still reviewing the charges but based upon our initial review, they have absolutely no merit. The media has attempted to contact businesses owned by Mr. Davies for comment while the Embassy of Egypt in Washington, D.C. did not respond to requests for comment. Mr. Menendez, his wife, and their three co-defendants are scheduled to appear in Manhattan Federal Court on September 27.